back at you with another video from 80's Nut. I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the sealed cassette tapes uh, out of my collection. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the metal Sony cassette. Take a look at that. Let me put it a little bit closer in there. So that's a metal Sony cassette. Isn't that cool? Huh? Let me go ahead and throw it different one up there. There's another one in the package. Isn't that cool? Yes, it's HS120. Another metal. Oh, but another one. Okay, wait a minute. This ain't the right collection. Oh, sorry, sorry. Get all these out of here. These are 8mm cassettes. I predict sometime in the future these will be very collectible too. Uh, packaging's very catchy, but wrong collection. Alright, we'll go ahead and start off with. Uh, I'm not gonna have them in any order, they're just kind of kind of sloppy, but there's a Mexel. Um, resembles the capsule, obviously because of the cutout right in the center there. Um, the case is a square edge, so sharp edge case. Um, you can tend to find out the end of the cassette era by a lot of the cases once you get more familiar with them uh, the the last ones at the very end the cases started rounding off kind of like this gave that contour there they made the cases a little bit more slim um, okay so back to this one there's your XL2 Maxel uh, 90 minute cassette. Obviously made in Japan. That's your uh, Type 2 cassette. Like the big window there in the opening of the package. Show you the inside. So they have a transparent uh, window in the back there. And. Uh, there's another Mexel, a older version of that one. And the reason you can tell it's older is because it does not have the gold that they added later on. They also This also does not have the, the quickest way to find out. This doesn't have the CD logo there that they started adding. Um, let me bring it side to side, kind of give you an idea. Ideal for CD, right there. Ideal for CD. And no, that's not there. Okay. Obviously, made in Japan. Same. Just noticed that there is a small opening there. But yes, also made in Japan. Recorded it. Tons of uh, tons of mixed cassettes uh, on these. They still play just fine. Let me pull out some other ones. Another Mexel. Another high bias Type 2 cassette, 90 minute. Also made in Japan. Newer version. Has the uh, softer edges there, contour on the edges. Also made in Japan. TDK SA90. Obviously, Type 2. <clears throat> nice large window to be able to see the reels inside. Uh, that has a real nice glossy 
finish on the cassette inside. You know what? Let me see if I have an open one. Show you guys. Ow, my knees. This is an SAX90, but the finish inside is the same. You can see how nice and shiny that is. That's what you'll get out of that if it was opened. Let's see what I'm going to throw at you guys next. There's a Denon double window. Um, so it'll have your large window on, on the bottom there and smaller, narrow window on top. Also, a Type 2 100 minute cassette made in Japan. Packaging is catchy. Doesn't have the gold or silver, but nonetheless, good looking cassette and uh, great sounding cassette. can't show you my entire collection because I would be here all night. All right. Trying to just kind of run through them real quick. This is a really good looking cassette there. That's, let me see if I can get it closer. There. So it's a Sony UX Pro. Uh, Again with the square packaging, the square cassette uh, case. And they went long shot with the uh, chrome or the metallic finish on the wrapper there. Killer looking wrapper and another great sounding cassette. Um, I'm not going to run around and try to pull out all the ones that are open to show you guys but Trust me, that cassette looks really good. Um, and I've got open collection and closed collection. Someday I hope to open up a uh, a museum for uh, vintage electronics. Gonna work on that in the near future, hopefully. Similar cassette, 90 minutes. Again, packaging absolutely incredible looking. How can you go with that? I can't. You can't go wrong with that. It's it's really good looking. So they were, um, their marketing guys were really good at that. And their the design engineers behind it did an awesome job. Great looking cassette. They're in the pile, so might as well. I know, nobody wants to see these. Oh god, but these are older. It's the D90s. Uh, type 1s. I'm sure everybody's... Oh god, not these again. Yes, these were all over the place. And if you couldn't afford it, did not want to use a nice cassette, this is what was on every shelf on pretty much every drugstore and uh, stereo shop. It's here, and uh, pretty sure these are the older ones that are made in Japan. These are the made in Japan ones. Square edges. Let's see what we got here. There's a two pack Sony CD. It that's uh, they were going ultra thin with this. Not bad. Let me jump to the other ones. Fuji. Type 1. It's your normal bias 90 minute. 
cassette again with a slim case they do have the type 2 which is an almost identical there it is right here so that's your type 1 and your type 2 you'll see that they're both in the slim case so at some point I guess they say oh well, you know what? why are we making them so big let's make them slim and they just started going slimmer and slimmer at some point don't have it anymore but I think TDK had one that was half of a um, it was just basically a sleeve or not, a portion of a sleeve um, I got rid of them and I should not have because I don't have any more and, uh, and it would have been a great piece to show you guys but it was just a sleeve that the case came with that the cassette came with and you just slide it into this sleeve and that was that was it um, it snapped in there as you get it in all the way again another newer one and you see that everyone was going to the slim at that point I'm kind of jumping all over the place I'm sorry Excel, newer one, rounded edges, CD all over it obviously, um, this is the, near the end of the era, can't even stand a darn thing up with all the rounded edges. <laughs> 